Uh, check, check. Let's see if this shit fixes. Okay. <laughs> Insane. Insane that my computer crashed. I do I have no idea what's going on with my computer lately. No idea. I do not want to upgrade either. That shit's expensive. Welcome back. Welcome back. One second. I'm just trying to untangle my headphone cable really quick. Um yeah, I don't know what happened. My my computer lately has just been acting up. It, I might just need to clean it, dead ass. Um, one second. Okay. Yeah, I might just need to clean it. Like I I took off a couple of the vents right now because they look kind of dusty. Um, so I'll just make sure after this video or after this live stream I clean that shit. I don't know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what happened. So uh, if it crashes again though, I will be throwing this computer out my two story window. And that is a fact. All right, back where we left off. I apologize for that. I I apologize for that a lot. Where's the track vid? I'm going to be working on it after this, actually. It's a lot of footage to go through. So, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Anywho, 2000s Nissan Xterra. Looks like something from the Fallout universe. Um, looks horrible. I've never understood the logic of doing this to your car. Like, if there was, you know some sort of nuclear or zombie apocalypse like it doesn't even seem like that good of a vehicle still to choose like not only did you make this out of like paper mache like, like, like look how thin this metal or cardboard is that he bolted to this poor car um but it just seems like a target at that point like if i were in a zombie apocalypse and it was every man for himself and i saw this thing rolling down the road you know, I would think it's a little bit tougher than it actually looks, but I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm taking that freaking car. 100%. Field artillery tractor. What? That snorkel does not look functional at all, by the way. It's hard to, to even see the Xterra under it. That is, that is pretty crazy. It, it is pretty hard to see. Um, Sorry, I'm getting a warning once again on my other computer or on my other monitor. Uh... The stream's current bitrate is lower than recommended. Okay, open widget. Can I? It says it's fine. Okay, whatever. I don't know. We're having some connection issues or something. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, um, and I hope it doesn't crash again. So we're just gonna we're just gonna keep on chugging along. People that do this to their uh, their their vehicles though they, they they definitely have something something going on with them like I like I, I I like to think I'm sort of prepared you know if somebody comes on knocking on my door trying to take my stuff or whatever sure but I'm not I'm not planning on the downfall buy it no balls not happening not for nine thousand this guy wants ten G's for a hundred and twenty four thousand mile Nissan Xterra like look at this thing you you really think someone's gonna buy this thing it ain't gonna be me I'll tell you what it ain't gonna be me Welcome to Persian Motors, where we make car buying stress-free and easy. We are excited to offer you this, this 2000s Nissan. It's a 2000s, by the way. Nissan Xterra four-wheel drive for 9,000. Vehicle is a great investment. Wow. Help you protect it with our extended warranty. Dude, there's no insurance company or warranty company that would that would extend whatever has been done to this car. It, like, this is just a, a, a rolling nightmare. Excellent condition. Are they looking at the same vehicle? This thing is a salvage title. It has so much shit bolted to it. I guarantee it. every panel underneath it is rusted. Guarantee it. Equipped with an... What? Eye-catching green complemented by... Oh, a sleek black interior. I thought he said sleek black exterior. Sure. Um, don't... They don't even acknowledge that this thing looks like it was made in Skid Row. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know why it's saying that I'm getting warnings for, like, bad connection. Are you, are you guys getting anything, like, I don't know, is it is it acting up? I don't know why I'm getting warnings. I'm, I'm Ethernet, so I have no idea why. Like, I'm Ethernet, I pay for the one terabyte of Internet. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, let's take a look at this one, this next car right here. That last one wasn't really, a, oh, God, these are all tuner cars. Okay, I need to type in, like, Ricer. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. That, see, like... So this is this is possibly how my super will look because um well I mean my front end is all charred up. So I'm either gonna go the full carbon route or go make it look OEM again. I don't know. That looks sick though. I do like this giant mouth intercooler or uh opening as well. God, it's so sick. 
What, what do you guys think? I, the only thing <laughs> with the whole carbon look, I'd probably still paint it. But um, oh, this is the first time I've ever seen those uh, the side bond uh, side duct vents too. Oh, they look sicker than I even thought. I, I don't know because that that body line does not line up with that body line. I kind of wish it did. It's okay, Drew. You're rich. You, I'm not rich. You got you wish. I wish I was rich. Not you wish. I wish. I wish I was rich. I just I have cars, but I am not rich. There's a difference. Okay, we'll save that for a tuner car episode. That's a great car. Uh, Ricer car mods. Here we go. Um, yep, this happens a lot too. I click on links and they're all gone. You can see I was looking at motorcycles before I bought mine. Some people were smoking some good good trying to sell some motorcycles, but I found a good one. Okay, Ricer. Let's see. Here we go. Oh my God, the Scion XB hatchback for three grand. Now, now we're talking. Now we're talking 285,000 miles. This thing outlived Scion as a brand. That's pretty insane. We got some wannabe Workmeister wheels. Oh, we got the purple rattle can interior. You guys seeing a, a theme here? I don't know if you guys saw the uh, the last live stream 10 minutes ago. But uh, yeah, purple rattle can interior. Rattle can interior in general. In general, a ricer's uh, wet dream. Um, purple rattle can on the grill, the side skirts, the Lambo doors from the first photo were just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. When I think Scion XB, I think exotic luxury vehicle. We have a cooler here probably with a decapitated cat in there. If I had to imagine just based on this car's uh, modifications. Um, I was going to say giant tachometer in the middle, but this is just how bad these cars were designed. Like imagine needing to check your speed and you got to turn your head slightly or like look off the center. That's annoying as all hell like look there's nothing in front of you this this, this is the definition i guess not i was gonna say of a cheaply made car because you know some companies will make a symmetrical interior so that way when it's left and right hand drive the, it's very easy to just switch parts over but no this is just more annoying than anything uh, that's, just, that's just annoying sick ass lambo doors 10 out of 10 gets all the bitches I love that. Looking to sell my uh, 06 Scion XB. Car has two remote starts, an aftermarket alarm. No one's stealing this piece of shit, dude. You're pretty ambitious installing an alarm on that. New outer tie rod ends. Uh, cars daily. Been on multiple four to five hour trips. Doesn't skip a beat. Odometer shows 285. VIN report shows two or 126. Not sure if it's true miles. That's great. These cars are known to go to 400,000 miles plus. Yeah, but... I mean, dude, this guy's got different size wheels and tires on this thing. I wouldn't trust this guy to change the oil. Car has Lambo doors up front. Um, they also open normally. You know, I would I would primarily open them normally, personally. All LED lights inside and out. Fog lights are uh, purple from last owner. Looking to sell 3000 or best offer. I don't know if it's true if these things last that long, but um, yeah. 400,000 miles, maybe on a well-kept-up one. Now, this is estimated, dude. I don't know if you know how estimated stuff works, but pretty much what happens is when this car got its last oil change at a dealer, they took note of the miles, and then they calculate about how many miles per year it's been driven. I believe that's how it works, so it'd be like that. Anywho, yeah, uh, $3,000. I don't think anyone's going to touch this thing. God. And also, like, what's the point of putting, like, your little stick? Dude, look at this thing. This thing looks like a dumpster inside. This one photo of a zoom a zoom in shot of his radio shows so much trash. Uh, this car reeks inside. It smells like a Chuck E. Cheese playpen. That thing's nasty. Uh, moving on. Yeah, let's delete that. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Insane multicolored eclipse. Wow. I mean, that's not multicolored. It's, like, dual colored. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lean back a little bit. So, uh. My back can stop hurting, damn. Riding a motorcycle, your back really does hurt. I'm not going to lie. That shit does does hurt your back after a while. Uh, anywho, silver and red. Did he run out of silver or did he run out of red? I guess we'll never know. He's got red wheels, a red side skirt, red A-pillars, a red red wing end, wing tips, a black bra for some odd reason. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why. I'll, you know, a red trim on the inside. Red trim on his rear view mirror. That's new. I've never seen that before. That that is a hundred percent new. Fun to drive, selling due to getting a new car. No longer need this one. It's a cruising vehicle. Uh, metallic red wrap. Oh, it can be taken off. Thank God it's red wrap. Oh, so I have a feeling he just started wrapping it, and he started with the smaller pieces. 
which ironically are typically the more difficult pieces. To, I mean, unless they're stupid small like this red door handle, but like, why would you even do that? Why would you even like wrap random pieces and just call it a day? Like this thing looks so incomplete. Looks like uh, Nike designed the car. Mm, not really. I don't, I don't get the joke there. It looks like a dipshit designed the car. A dumb motherfucker. That's who designed the car. One second. I'm getting texts. Oh, it's my boy who's painting uh, he's painting my Mustang bumper right now. That's why the Mustang is taken apart right now. And I'm waiting on him to finish it. Oh, it looks great, though. I'm not even going to fucking lie. That shit looks amazing. One second. I wish I could show you guys this stuff. That shit looks... Uh, there's a small thing in one of the mirrors. So small. I think it's all good. Just got to sand it down tomorrow. One more clear. Okay. Awesome. Can't wait. I can't wait to show everyone. It looks really good. I'm not going to lie. Like that. I like, I got to get the whole car painted now, but yeah, I have, I have, um, I finally fixed the front bumper, so I won't have tape on it anymore. Got the bumper, the mirrors and the side ducts repainted. So I'm going to polish the whole car. I was going to do it today, but it's hot out and I don't really feel like polishing in the heat. So maybe later. But I was going to do that today. He said it won't be done till the weekend, so I'll probably wait. Because it's kind of dry. But, uh, yeah, I, d I don't know what this guy's thought process was. This seems like a really easy car to wrap to. Like, dude, that's a pretty flat door. That's a pretty small fender. That's a pretty small hood. He could have just committed and done the whole thing, and we wouldn't even be here. Whatever. Comes with two sets of two sets off underglow, one set of interior glow, Rockwood, Fosgate Sound, Marky, Mark wheels 20 by 10 damn 20 by 10 that's pretty huge tires 90 percent thread this dude can't sp fucking type or read to save his life man <laughs> see it's, it's people like this where where it's like do you really trust this guy to put 5w30 oil in his car he can't even fucking read what does this comment say Hey, I have a Drew Peacock too. We are brothers. LOL JK. We better not see the Supra up here. Uh, peace and love. Stay safe. Yeah, the Supra. I'm honestly. I'm. I'll probably go pick up my my uh, cherry picker, my little crane today, and then I'll start on it. Maybe next week. I got to get the Mustang out of the way, so it's probably gonna be started on next week because I got to pull it out and wash it, and then we'll get to work on it. Anyways, uh, 2001 Kia Sportage. This one sold. I wouldn't consider this rice. See, like, there's some people that just, like, send me shit for no reason. This is a weird-looking Kia Sportage, but yeah, I don't think it's rice. I think it's just weird. They're like, I don't know if, I don't think people know what rice means anymore. Uh, Rice, not nice, definitely funny. Here we go. Let's take a look. Oh, God. That's Paul Walker. 2005 Honda S2000 convertible two-door. Wow. Um, rev up your adrenaline like Paul Walker in this 2005 Honda S2000. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I got to give him uh, points on this one right here. This is, this is pretty sweet. I'd buy this car. If I was looking for an S2000, I'd buy this car. Um, what, what does it have? 72,000 miles. It seems pretty low, but 30 grand. What the fuck? Dude, do S2000s go for that much? Or does he think Paul Walker actually drove this car? Like, Holy shit, it's clean. Don't get me wrong. 72,000 miles, it's clean. But to 30 grand? You could buy a lot more uh you could buy a lot faster cars for 30 grand. I mean, 30 grand. If you're going to buy this car, I mean, you you can get a loan for it, but you'd pretty much have to buy it cash because it's going to be hard to get a loan for a 2005 Honda S2000. Um but like you could go buy Probably an FK8 Type R for about 30. I, I'm actually kind of curious. Let's let's just type this in. Um, this is why live streams are great because I can go off off topic because it doesn't matter. FK8 uh, Type R. What? Okay. Well, that didn't. FK8 Type R. Here we go. So let's see. Look at that. First one popped up. It has less miles, and it's a Type R. I mean, it's not a real wheel drive car. I get it, but like. Yeah. you see you see what i'm saying I, I i bet even in a couple of years you can buy the gr corolla for that much so anyways let's let's i don't get why this is a ricer car though it is funny uh i think that's, that might have been what he said he said not rice rice not nice okay it's not rice see people are fucking stupid it's a bone stock car 
the guy's just asking way too much for it, in my opinion. What do you guys think, though? Is this is this way too much? Are you going to twin turbo the Mustang? I don't know. Um, if the Whipple keeps hooking, then no. But we'll have to see. I might just re-gear it and just turn up the power. We'll have to see. I don't know. Because I think if I re-gear the Mustang to 331s, which I was supposed to do at the beginning of this month, but my car was being painted, so I didn't do it. If I re-gear the Mustang and uh, just turn up the power, I, th I think we'll be okay. We'll have to see. But uh, 2005, that's 2000. Ugh, it's a little bit too much in my opinion. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Rice our cars on Facebook. Let's see. 2015 Dodge Challenger Shaker Plus RT Plus Supercharged 650 horsepower. So this is a supercharged car. Guy sent it as a ricer. Let's see uh, who's correct here. It do look kind of ricey right off the rip. That is so much neon. This thing looks like my PC. Actually, my PC is glowing red right now. So um, it actually really does. Now it's changing to yellow. That being said oh, why are people stupid like this why don't you just upload the picture and not the screenshot of the picture are you fucking stupid there you go yeah you figured it out you fucking doorknob all right i mean it's just red with shitty louvers he's got a scat b sticker um i i like this grill i'm not gonna lie i like it i don't like this front lip front lip's fucking ugly i do like the grill though that like nine bar grill it looks dope I wanted to get that for my Mustang for the longest time, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just a neon red red on red. This guy really loves red. A whole lot of red. Doesn't show the supercharger uh, at all, actually. Um, sure, let's take a look at his description, because he doesn't show a whole lot of the car. This is a car show winner. Rare, 1 of 30. Made Dodge Challenger Shaker RT Plus with supercharger and Willwood braking system. Plus window louvers, engine work. Uh, lie, lie louvers. Don't know what that is. Heavy modified exhaust. Car is 650 plus horsepower and has every possible option. Six speed Tremec. Oh, so it is a six speed. That's pretty dope. Uh, six speed Tremec tranny. We can't really say that anymore. It's 2024. Low mileage. Car was garaged. Also recently hybrid. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I don't get why it's one of 30. That seems like a random oddball number that Dodge wouldn't have done. But unless I'm tripping, it doesn't seem. Doesn't seem all that special to me. <sighs> I mean, maybe like one of 30 in this color, but like, what, a manual shaker RT? That doesn't seem all that special. 24,000 miles, that is pretty low. He's only asking 27,000. See, I mean, I'm not saying that this is necessarily comparable to that S2K, but this is less than the S2K, and you get 650 horsepower. On all seasons, but 650 horsepower. Uh, What's going on in the description, or in the chat right now? GTA special that oh that's a good one uh, yeah it looks like something a twelve year old would make in GTA I probably have cars I haven't loaded up GTA five and forever I wonder what my cars look like I genuinely wonder okay let's keep going Facebook Marketplace rice or nice here we go oh, see this isn't rice okay we'll save this for a tuner car episode yeah that's nice we'll save that for a tuner car episode are these all from the same guy dude this Johnny guy holy shit Johnny out here finding all of them for me so let's see what this one is johnny are these all tuner cars oh maybe maybe not 2012 ford mustang uh coupe two-door fifteen thousand dollars so i mean his description it's already a, it's a twin turbo v6 pretty surprising not gonna lie pretty surprising damn that looks like a, a plumbing nightmare um i'm sure you could have cleaned this up a little bit i see a couple of vacuum lines that could have definitely been shortened but I, these these V6s, surprisingly enough, they're pretty strong. They can handle like five or 600 horsepower. So they're pretty fucking strong. Um, I don't know if I would go ahead and waste the money to turbo wing one, but I mean, you could. Uh, we'll save this for a tuner car as well because it's not right. So this guy might have just sent all tuner cars because it seems like that's his thing. I'm just going to skip to a random one that he sent. Yeah, they're all tuner cars. Okay. So, Johnny, thank you for sending us so many. But we're going to have to wait for those. Okay. Uh, marketplace find. Here we go. Damn. Check his hard drive right now. 2004 Nissan Pathfinder. Armada LL. Where is this at? I've never seen a single cab Pathfinder. Wait, it's a... Pathfinder. Is it a path... Am I tripping? 
Pathfinder is an SUV. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, it's an 04, right? I'm over here thinking it's a fucking truck. It's not a truck. I, I, yeah. Wait, is that what it is? Why does it look so different? No. No, no, no. Pathfinder Armada. Why does it look so different? It's a fucking SUV. Jesus. All right, whatever. Uh, 2004 Nissan Armada Chop Suey. No, that's not an Armada. This guy did some shit to this car. And I don't know what he did. This is also... I love it when people try to sell a car with three photos. One of them is a, is a different ad for the same car that has way more photos. Oh, I guess two of them are. What an idiot. Willing to trade... <sighs> Sorry. Willing to trade. This is a modified truck. If you like anime, you got to see this V8 <laughs> run screen clean. If you like anime, I don't think anyone's going to be uh, like, no one's going to buy this truck because they like anime. Nobody's going to do that. Like, <laughs> people are stupid as fuck. <laughs> Motivated seller. Uh, it also has a tow package. Sick, man. Yeah, I don't think it's a Pathfinder. I don't know why you said it's a Pathfinder. I'm pretty sure. But the Armada. Is the Armada an SUV? Or, no, I'm thinking. Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, it is an Armada. It's an SUV. What's the what trucks? What trucks do they have? They have the the Frontier. What's their big truck? Let me see. I like how Nissan names their trucks. They're kind of or not their trucks, their cars. The Armada, like that's a cool ass fucking name. They just have the Frontier. Okay, back then they did. Don't they have different stuff now or no? My buddy was actually looking at a, front, a Frontier, a newer one. I'm telling him no. I'm saying, dude, go get a GMC or a, a Toyota. Don't go get a Nissan. They only have one. Wow. I thought they had a, a bigger one. They don't have a full size? The Titan. Yeah, the Titan. Where's the Titan? There's the one I'm talking about. Why Why is the Titan not showing up? Yeah, the Titan. That's a big boy truck. I mean, that's a good looking truck. I ain't even going to lie. That truck looks pretty sick. I like that. But I don't like that. That looks lame. Get that shit out of my face. Yeah, the Titan. That's what I was thinking of. I thought this shit was a Titan because that's the same front end. I was like, oh, it's a Titan single cab, which I've never seen before. But no, it, it's not. Whatever. All right. Yeah, uh, anime people, man. Weird ass motherfuckers. Weird ass motherfuckers. Uh, tuner cars. No, we don't want tuner. Yeah, race are nice. Of course, it's a Civic. Let's see. What kind of Civic? Oh, my God. He's got a sunglass holder. This dude gets bitches. That's so much carbon fiber. Uh, collector car feed wants you. Hit up net. Who's collector car feed? What is that? Wants me. What does that mean? They want my booty. I don't know who that is. Let me look that up. Collector car feed. I don't know what that is. Um. Okay, I'll have to look this up later. I don't. I don't see anything that's like popping up when I type that in on Instagram. Maybe it's a YouTube thing. I don't know. Netgear fifty seven. Isn't that like just Netgear? <laughs> like what? Okay, I don't know. I'll I'll check that out. I'll look into that. But I'm gonna look into that after this. I don't know what that means. So, thank you though. I don't know. Do, do, do I have to oil up for them? If they want me to oil up, then it's going to cost extra. Okay, 2010 Honda Civic. See, uh, they want 69,000, 6,900 Canadian. Sorry. Oh, my God. I thought the exterior. I thought the interior was like, okay, it's a bit much of like carbon. Want to be carbon? It's probably not real, especially based on the exterior. But like, at least it's like, looks like good quality, right? Like, we can agree that this looks like. He took care of it. He cares about it. And then you go to the exterior. Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Fake vent. Sports tire lettering. Nothing tells me you don't know what kind of car you have if you put sports stickers and tire lettering on your car. Like, it's like that sports animal produced by blank sticker. Like, they, they always love that shit. This guy's also got, like, tramp stamps on the back of his car. Jesus. Okay, fake vent. Yep, yeah, that looks great. So red to hub cap. Oh, these wheels look ten times better, buddy. Uh, fake Type R uh, vent. Dope. 
at least it's a manual, I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't really care anyways if, if this was my car. That looks a lot nicer than that. You see, like, the evolution of a ricer. Like, this is already pretty bad. This already lets you know this dude's dabbling in some uh, hard ricer drugs, okay? And then, oh, and then this hits, and it's just... It's just straight downhill from there. This dude starts selling his kidneys for, for hard ricer drugs. Um, they love, and I don't get why, ricers love anything 3M. Like, this dude ditched his, uh, he ditched this fake vent for the Type R fake vent and then moved another fake vent up there and then he got like 3M door savers and 3M handle covers and a stupid wing. Uh, all the red spray paint on his vents or red fake carbon. Red windshield wipers. This dude loves red. This dude and that Challenger, they'd be they'd be good friends. They would be really good friends. What are those? I don't even know what those are. Honda banner. Go figure. Uh, we have a sunglass holder, which is great, I guess. Whatever. Type S. This is definitely not a Type S. Sick. Nice little skull. Yep. Super hardcore, man. This dude's this dude. <laughs> This dude might be a gangster. This dude might might be a little bit of a thug, if you ask me. Oh, I love this car. Oh, carbon fiber exhaust tip. And it looks like it might be the glowing one. That's very cool. My bro was dead ass riding on Civic Hybrid wheels. It might be a Civic... No, uh, do they make a Civic Hybrid with a manual? Because I was going to say, it, it might just be a Civic Hybrid, but maybe not. It's a, No, it's a EXL. I don't know what that is. He's trying to VIP out the interior too. He's got some headrests. Sick, man. Wow, this is this is innovative for ricers. This is an exterior like door saver carbon fiber trim piece, and he put it on the interior to make his interior look a little bit more race car. Wow. Oh, and he's got the the seat cushions. This dude's got it all. This is a ten out of ten every style of build right here. He went a little wacky over. He went a little over the hallucinogens on this shit, but ten out of ten. Sick build, buddy. Sick build. Uh, let's read his description. Beautiful Civic EXL low mileage. Low, low mileage. 150,000 miles. Well, kilometers, I guess. What does that translate to? It's like 110, 120, whatever. Carfax available, manual, enhanced interior. That's a new word I've never seen a ricer use. Original 15-inch mags and 16-inch mags. I don't know if that's a Canadian thing, but we call them wheels, not mags. Winter and summer tires, <laughs> well, you don't need summer tires, dude. <laughs> like, you could put on winter tires all around the year and you'd be fine. Negotiable, non-functioning air conditioning, lack of gas. Whatever. Uh, 6,900 Canadian, go pick it up. You, ne uh, Yo, you roasted my car, love the videos, though. Thank you, Hyper Pink Civic. Yep, I'd be roasting everyone's cars because they ask me to, I think, usually. Most of the time. I don't know. Rice or nice. Here we go. Okay. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Sob. We don't see too many sobs on the channel. Is it a tuner car, though? Or is it going to be a full-on ricer? Let's see. Oh, sorry. Or is it going to be a full-on ricer? Um, they don't look that bad. Definitely doesn't look that bad. It looks like it's in Rhode Island. You really don't see sobs like on the West Coast. At least I don't think I do. Wow, this guy like he really kept this thing really clean. Yeah, I don't even think it's bad at all. I don't know why he sent it. I don't know if he was trying to say it was riced out or what, but I I think it's it's genuinely pretty clean. It looks like it's a wrap, which is fine. I mean, uh, nowadays it's so expensive to what's well, not expensive to paint cars, but I mean, dude, I mean, this guy's been painting my bumper for like a month now. So and that's for a bumper. Imagine a whole car. <laughs> wrap would have took a day. So. Um, anyways, yeah, I don't know much about these when it comes to like engines, power, performance or anything like that. So don't sit here like I, I'm not going to sit here like I know every car I don't. But yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty clean for what it is. I don't hate it. Uh, thanks for the dono. J. Sorry, I got to look closer. Is that say JJ Productions? Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I heart it back? Is that a thing? Oh, I could. I didn't know you could do that. It's on my other monitor and it's like two feet away so sorry if i if i misread or miss uh spoken th i apologize for that the good news is my computer hasn't crashed so that's great i don't know why again why it did it must be some sort of heating thing because these vents do look caked up they look caked up like i'm about to clap their cheeks did they be that caked up 
All right, what do we have here? A 2007 Chevy Tahoe LTZ uh, SUV. Sick. Uh, love the green interior. Once again, common theme with Ricers. They love just painting and changing their interior to to a, an ugly fucking color. This this sprite green color? Yeah, definitely. was. Oh, this is more like a monster green. Definitely more like monster green. 2007, this is when like, Pimp My Ride was like very popular. So it does kind of follow that uh, Pimp My Ride style. Oh, my God. Well, this is Midnight Club LA right here. I've made cars look like this in Midnight Club LA. Did he put? Did he slam it and camber it out? I know there's some dudes that would definitely be fucking with this shit. It's just, it's not me. No Limit Customs. Sick, brother. What are they watching on the TV? Are those TVs in the headrests? If I could get that in my cars and connect my phone, dude, I would be scrolling on TikTok all day. I ain't even gonna lie. It's very dangerous. <laughs> I, I have a I have a serious problem. Um, sick. We got some airbrush though. Some airbrush work. Some green and black. I'm telling you, 2007 Drew. How old would I have been if I was born in? Oh, I'd have been 10. Yeah, I would have been 10 if my math is correct. I was born in 97. Um, 2007 Drew would have definitely fucked with this dude. He would have. Oh yeah, it's got it's on air ride. Sick. Like my favorite colors back then were green and black. So. This this is screaming 2007 Drew, hundred percent, Monster Energy. Yeah, driver is definitely named Kyle. Uh, has to be. They even painted like I'm not gonna lie, their attention to detail is pretty impressive. They even painted the door jams. Like there's a lot of wrap shops nowadays that don't even wrap door jams. Imagine doing airbrush on them. That's pretty good. I'm I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Uh, he wants eighteen thousand, so that's cool. Love your videos. I've been subbed uh, since the three valve. Hey. I appreciate that, JJ. I appreciate that. Let me give that another heart. Mwah. Thank you. Thank you for the dono. Anyways, yeah. I mean, 2007 Drew would have definitely fucked with this. Um, I will not answer. Is it still available? If it's up, it means it's available. How long has it been available? 30 weeks. Jesus. Yeah, it might be a little bit too overpriced for that. Only well, has 50,000 miles, though, I guess. But it's just out of style. Like, the problem with customizing it to this extent is... <sighs> Wait, sorry. Yo, Drew, what's the best stroker kit on 2JZ? I mean, unless you're trying to make like 1,200 plus, I wouldn't even stroker it. My shit's not strokered. Hell no. Anywho, uh, the problem with customizing your car to this extent is, dude, it's so personalized that you got to find another version of you. And I know there's 8 billion people on this planet, but there's very little people that are going to spend 20 grand on a very customized truck that's almost 30 years old or 20 years old. That's crazy. It's cool, but yeah, it's orange peel galore, definitely as well. All right, uh, let's move on. I'm not going to read all that. If you want to, go for it. Pause now. Uh, can you oil up for me, Drew? Uh, no, not unless you donate. All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny. Yesterday, Jake and I went riding, and he was like, oil up. Like, he always says that. He's always, like, telling me, oil up, Drew. And he forgot to put his oil fill plug on his bike. And so he rode down the street and there was oil all over his fucking boots. So he literally oiled up for me. And boy, I took advantage of that. Anywho, uh, webcam. Now, nah, dude, I, I look so beat right now. I'm not using the webcam. I just like chit chat. Like I'm laying back. I'm just chilling, you know. Anywho, uh, 91 Mazda Miata sold 11K. I mean, uh, I guess we could listen to it. I hope I have OBS on so you guys can hear it too. It sounds whatever, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's a Miata. You know, what do you what do you expect, Drew? A V8? Probably not. All right. Uh, let's take a look at this bad boy right here. Wide body. We have a roll cage. We have a hard top. We have. I mean, it's a it's a clean wide body. I'm not gonna lie. I I don't hate it. I definitely don't hate it. But uh. Is it is it worth eleven grand? I mean, what's underneath the hood? Oh, this thing's all tracked out, dude. This dude's trying to race. Oh, I love that's sick. I do like that. This aluminum, wow, I really like that. The aluminum door cards and the aluminum like center console pieces, I really do like that. Can you oil up now? Ah, oh, fuck. I, I kind of have to now. Shit. Oh, but you get five dollars worth of oil. How much is five dollars worth of oil? It's actually a pretty good amount. It's probably like half a quart. <laughs> where do you want it it's a supercharged Miata too look at that wow 
Wow. Okay. All right. I mean, it's not a riced out car, definitely. This one might have been for a tuner car episode. But, I mean, 11 grand supercharged Miata. I mean, on a, on a track, supercharger makes sense. You know, you get that instant torque to get in and out of corners. It's pretty sweet. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I like it. I think it's a pretty cool build. Thumbs up. Oh, wait. We can, we can look at it really quick. 1.8 uh, fast forward carb legal supercharger kit. That's pretty sweet. It's smogged. That's pretty sweet. I mean, that's good. You don't got to worry about cops and shit. I like it. Thumbs up. I might save that for an actual uh, video. I might I might actually do that. Okay, Ricer Nice Pontiac Firebird. Foot con How much for foot content? You guys are little freaks, you know that? Uh, I'm not going to judge anyone, but I've never understood the foot thing. Like, uh, I don't know. I look at feet, bro, and I don't, like, they don't even look like they'd be gripping it good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, 1986 Pontiac Fiero SE, $8,000. Okay, let's take a look. At, oh, I just noticed it looks like a Ferrari. <laughs> I didn't even didn't even acknowledge that. Uh, it's a based on a Testarossa, apparently. It's really clean, 2.8 liter V6. Sounds good. Very rarely do V6s sound good, unless they're paired up with turbos, man. It's pretty hard to get a V6 to sound good. Like, name a, a good sounding NA V6. And I know people are immediately going to be like, oh, a, 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 a 370 or 350 with a Tomei. Like, still, very rarely do they sound good. Anyways, the interior, you get a sick Testarossa badge. Ferrari badges. Sick. Yep. Damn. Roblox head-ass car. <laughs> Look at this wing. It doesn't even go all the way to the fenders. <laughs> That's crazy. It doesn't even go to the end of the quarter panels. That's hilarious. Uh, What are these wheels? Yeah, those are... <laughs> Those don't look like Ferrari wheels to me, man. Yeah, just throw Ferrari badges on it. Yep, that, that's, that's, yeah, Ferrari. Yep, looks like a Ferrari to me. God, look at that front end, too. Things with a crimson chin. What are you doing? Yeah, um, definitely not a Ferrari Testarossa. Um, did he say oil up, too? Just bought it out of impulse. That's a bad financial decision. This thing sold? Holy shit. He bought it out of uh, impulse. And uh, it's not my thing. I want a manual now. <laughs> but it runs well. No back fees. Clean title. 108,000 miles. Trades are considered. Do your research. Uh, if you look up Fiero kits, the fiberglass kit alone is 10 grand. Okay, like, let's critique it to an actual Testarossa, though. Like, let, 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 let's see. I, I, I don't have one, like, in my mind. I know what they look like, obviously. You know, they look like a better version of that. But did I not copy or paste it? Ferrari Testarossa. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Y you see how the headlights are at the end of the bumper, and it doesn't look like the fucking crimson chin. Yeah, that's not that's not quite how this one looks. Where's the front end shot? There we go. That's not quite how this one looks. You see, you see that, laddie? You see that here? This one's in white. You see this? You see how beautiful it looks? You see how... God, it looks so good with those, like, BBSs as well. Drew. Drew, baby, I don't even think uh, this gets you a gallon of gas in Cali. But shout out from Chicago's ghetto-ass car scene. Uh, yeah, that gets me a gallon of gas. I appreciate that. That actually will. Uh, one gallon, to be exact. That gets me about one gallon. So, I appreciate that. Two, maybe two gallons of E85. But, thank you. Uh, Yevil? Yevi? Uh, let me, let me lean forward. Yevil. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Back to the Testarossa, though. Yeah, you could see this thing, uh, definitely looks better than the Pontiac Fiero. Yeah. Moving on. I, I, why do people not like how the Pontiac Fiero looks either? Like, the, I feel like the Pontiac Fiero. Pontiac Fiero. Uh, did I not spell it right? Okay, yeah, I didn't. Pontiac Fiero. Like, dude it looks fine as is like it looks cool like this thing that's the pontiac fiero that thing looks like a cool car why make it look like a ferrari i have i don't see why people change that it lo look at it photos of oh, you photos of design rejects oh maybe that's not how it looks <laughs> there we go oh yeah it does look kind of eh it's not that bad that definitely does look better though wow Bring back the Pontiac Fiero. Bring back the Pontiac Fiero. I like it. I think it's a cool car. 
It's like an MR2, but with a V6. Think about that. You think about that right now. All right, rice are nice. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm oh, it's the same car. Look at that. That happens a lot too. I get the car submitted multiple times. Tuner cars, ricer cars on Facebook. Here we go. Take a look at this one right here. Oh, it's that one again. Look at that. It's the one from the first live stream when it crashed. Cool. Okay. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Like I said, yeah. This oh oh, it's another Ford Focus. Okay, I saw I saw Ford Focus and thought it was gonna be the same one, but no, it's a different one. So let's see if this is actually ricer. Eighty five G's. 85 G's? He wants us almost as many a dollar per mile on this thing. Holy shit. 85 G's. Okay. What what do we think is going on here of why it's uh 85 G's? Do we think okay, he might be trolling. He might be trolling. But let's take a look. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't I'm not seeing 85 G's. Uh Side exit, that's kind of sick. I do like that. He only has four photos. Wow, five photos. Side exit's dope. <laughs> um, the the hella horns, whatever. Sure, uh, it's not really a rally look. It's 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 got a, a pretty aggressive sports car stance, which is cool. Is it on bags or no? Because it looks dropped there, but it might just be because he's so low, anyways. Yeah, I don't know about 85 G's. It must be. It's got to be a prank because he says short throw dipstick, rare custom side pipe, race gutted interior option, race car tires, a uh, rare Ford Fusion 2.0 swap OEM titanium wheels. Yeah, it's it's got to be a, a, a troll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe 8500. You're right, but 85,000 listed two years ago. It's got to be a troll. There's no shot. So. Whatever. I'm surprised it took two years to see this. Um, he posted it two years ago, but yeah, it's not that funny either. Like it's not even that clever of one. What's up, Drew? WTF is this G35? I want to see you rant on this thing because it's not worth a hundred. Oh god, a hundred thousand dollar G35? Oh, it's a Vader kit. It's a fucking Vader kit. 2003 Infinity G35. I already know what this motherfucker is. Here we go, the Vader kit. I mean, like, I don't think it's a bad-looking car, but yeah, dude, that's not a $100,000 car. Like, I bought my McLaren for about this price. So, you could have a real supercar with real supercar performance, or you can have a kit car with a G35 in the interior. Like, which one are you going to take? Like like I said, I personally don't think it's a bad-looking car. I like how they flip the, the G35 taillights upside down. I like that, you know? This guy bagged it, like... It would definitely get attention, but like at the same time, to me, it just it. I don't know how to explain it. It looks hollow. Maybe because I know it's a kit car. I know there's a G thirty five under there, so I know that these panels do not like do anything. You know, like there's nothing. There's no rear cooling. There's all these ducts and shit. And there's nothing back there. So maybe to me, it just it just looks like a a Hot Wheel car. And there you go, the G thirty five interior. Yep. 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 Oh, they make it a drop top. Is that? Wow. Or what, is it just a, a permanent drop top? No, it has a hard top. Wow. Oh, wait, wait. Is there is there a G35? No, there's no G35 drop top, right? I think there's a G37 hard top drop top. 2003 G35 drop top. There's no shot that there is, right? Wow, I don't know why my keyboard is just like double pressing everything. Drip top. Okay, Drew, learn how to fucking spell. Yeah, there's not, right? No, I've never seen that in my life. I think there's a G37 drop top, or no. I don't know. I don't like Infinities that much. You guys know that, okay? Like, I'm not a huge Infinity guy, but I vaguely... Um, maybe I'm just thinking of, like, the fucking hard drop top uh, BMW coupes. Is there a G37 convertible? Con Dude, why is my keyboard, like, spazzing out? Convertible. Yeah, see? Is this a thing or no? Am I tripping? I'm pretty sure this is a thing. I'm doing research now. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna learn today. Wow, look at... My internet is just crazy acting up. Uh, sure, sure. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna read this whole thing. I'm gonna say it's a thing. Yep, they made him. G35s are just, uh, the, there are G37 drop tops. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. So, the fact that they made a G35 into a drop top is kind of crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if I would trust that. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this car looks all right? Like, 
imagine it's not a G35 and it is an actual supercar. Is it a decent looking car? To me, I don't think it's half bad. It looks like a GTA ass car, but it doesn't look half bad. I, I think the reason why it looks goofy a little bit is because most exotics are rear engine, right? So seeing giant front grills like this, I think that looks a little funny. Like it kind of looks like a Dodge Charger front grill. So, yeah. If you do this to a G37 or G35, you definitely got to pair it up with some power because, I mean, dude, pulling up, I'm at, imagine pulling up with a Vader and it sounds like a G35. <laughs> Someone said it's all right. Yeah, like, I don't think it's, trust me, I don't think it's a good looking car. But like, if I just saw that and it was like, oh, a concept car coming out for an Infinity supercar, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. But then seeing like the fake ducks and everything, like uh, well, once you get up close to it, you would know it's like kind of ass. But like even the rear end, like it kind of looks like an Aventador. I don't know. Let's see if this guy added any power. Hey, he is an LSA supercharged motor. So it's got a V8. So at least it sounds better. Built 4L60 transmission, uh, air ride sus suspension, big brake kit. Okay. It's still not worth a hundred grand in my opinion, but maybe 50, maybe. <laughs> Over 136 has been invested, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, invested doesn't mean you're going to get it back. I'm just going to say that. But at least it doesn't sound like a trumpet. So a supercharged V8, yeah, I think, I think it'd be a pretty fun little car. I don't know if it would put the power down, but hey, at least he did stuff to it. All right, let's keep going. Um, I'll actually undo that one because maybe I'll save that one for another video as well. We'll see though. I'll make sure not to do them all in the same video, so you guys people, so you guys aren't like, "Hey, Drew, we already saw this in your live." iPad dash, uh, pads not included. Uh, it said iPad not included. Oh uh, well, too late to check. I'm too lazy. Uh, Super Lambo. What is this? I've saved it for some reason. Oh, is it like? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna look at that right now. We're not gonna look at that right now. Sorry. That's a tuner car. Clean, fast, and furious Supra. Uh, God, look at that. That's so sad looking underneath the hood. Dude, how are you going to make your exterior look so nice? And then, look at, dude, this fuse box is just dancing around. This is how, this is why I think mine might have caught fire. Because I had to move my fuse box too. But that, that looks even sketchier, more sketchier mounted than mine. So, it is clean on the outside though. I will say it is clean. This looks like a, a fire hazard. How much does he want? 50 grand? I mean, it's not bad, but it does have this like body kit on it, though. This like wide body kit. Does the Fast and the Furious Supra from the movie have a wide body kit or no? Oh, he's got confettis. Nice. I need to get mine repaired. <laughs> hey, nice confettis. Does it have it in, in the movie? Dirty Supra. Yeah, the interior. Like, this doesn't look right. If you're going to build a car like this, dude, at least pull your engine and like paint the interior. Dirty build. Uh, it looks really nice there, though. I do like that. Although it looks like it's like squatting in the rear. Like he has negative rake. I think I think he needs a little bit more rake. What is with that wing? It's just from the movie. It's de it's definitely angled way too much, though. I will say that is that is horrible angle right there. That is so much drag. I dude, look at that angle. That is horrible. Fifty k. Fifty k kind of seems outrageous. Yeah, it's uh seems pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's a, is it a salvage? No, it says clean title. Uh, I'd love to see Drew with a wide body kit. I was actually looking at wide body kits for the Supers, but there's none that like look good. Insurance scam Drew, you saying me? Bro, if I were to burn down one of my cars, I would have burnt down the goddamn McLaren. I would not have burnt down the car that I spent weeks trying to get ready for an event. And then <laughs> paying for the event as well in advance. Uh, and then lighting my car on fire like... Let's use our brains here, buddy. Let's use our brains here. Uh, for sale, not in a rush. However, I will keep modding it. Why? Because it's fun. Price will also increase as I go. 95, Fast and the Furious Tribute. 143,000 miles, which is about 88,000 miles or kilometers, which, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, tweaked wire harness. That's what I had. Radium fuel rail. I don't think I had that. ID 1050s, Wampro 450. Not making a whole lot of power then. I can just tell you right there. That four, well, single 450 and ID 1050s, maybe four to 500 horsepower, depending on what fuel he's running. Still, though, it's obviously a show car. 
<laughs> fucking uh john <laughs> jc motorworks insurance fraud for sure i called him literally at 11 because i was gonna go to the track with him i call him at 11 at night i didn't even tell him what happened i just said hey buddy i'm uh not gonna make it to the track the next day i'm sorry he's like what happened i was like oh i just can't i, I don't want to tell anyone you know like <laughs> i didn't want to fucking tell anyone hey man my car just burned down so uh luckily it's 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 salvageable sold 2000s uh what is this oh let me go sorry i'm going through analytics and shit on my stream 2000s toyota celica gt uh hatchback sick i love it five thousand dollars for this fart can mobile um 153 000 miles wow okay i mean <clears throat> i i don't hate it i, I st i'm starting to look at cars more as like how would I word this? I don't want to say more polite, but like it's it's more period correct. Like this looks like something that came out of the two thousands, right? Um, and like he's got decent ride height and shit. It's not my style at all. And I mean he's got an intake and a lot of blue painted shit, but like I'm starting to like it less. Uh, it's funny when I bought my Supra. This is the steering wheel that came with it. It's a Toyota Celica Supra sorry, steering wheel, but it looks closer to the TRD wheel than like the actual steering wheel. So I, think I still have it somewhere. I think I have it. I don't know. Anyways, I don't hate it. I don't think it's necessarily rice. I mean, it's it's whatever. It's not it's not bad enough to where I need to sit here and cry about it. You know, it's whatever. Um, all right, let's, uh, look for another one. How long have we been streaming for? What does it say? I can't even see it. I don't know. I can't see what it's saying. Okay. Uh, let's keep going though. Crazy. If Facebook marketplace, why well, price are nice. Here we go. 2005. It's SRT 10. Oh, dude, look at this guy's fucking lineup. Mercy Lago, fucking Gallardo, an SRT 10 with a giant intercooler, an avalanche and a fucking Jeep. This guy's living life out in Texas. Okay, I got to save that for a tuner car video. That guy's lineup is insane. Tuner with quotes around it, so I'm guessing it ain't a tuner. Honda Odyssey. 51 minutes? Oh, that's pretty good. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that. I usually go for like an hour. Maybe we'll do like an hour 30 today. We'll have to see. Uh, I usually get pretty exhausted doing this. I know it sounds like a complete first world problem, but... Uh, just talking to yourself for an hour straight, it, it gets pretty tiring. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you know, I might as well be working in a construction yard right now. It's like the same thing. <laughs> I'm joking. 2001 Honda Odyssey. Tuner car. All right. I mean, he do be getting that nice fitment, though. He do, oh, the blue drum brakes. You lost me there. Like, if you want to wrap your car this khaki mint green, and slam it sure you know but the green the, the the teal blue drum brakes come on man drew definitely doesn't oil up on wednesdays uh yeah maybe not today i do need to go shower though so maybe i'll oil up before i shower <laughs> yeah the the blue brakes man that just goes to show how much how easy you can just kill a build like crazy i like the old school honda badge that's kind of sick but then look at the rear reflecting tape why would you do that why would you do that? It does have almost have 200,000 miles, but it's a Honda. You know, these things kind of last forever. Uh, it looks bone stock underneath the hood, and it looks fucking weird on the interior, man. A rat's nest, a bird's nest, a Sirakawa stick, uh, dope stickers. like. <sighs> and then you just put, like, leaves everywhere? What the fuck is going on, man? Is this a guy car, a girl car? What's going on? TSWs. Love them TSWs. I don't, actually. I, I don't. The interior does look clean, though. Like, okay, if we got rid of all of his fucking knickknacks, if you bought this car and cleared out his knickknacks, the interior would actually be pretty clean. Like, this looks like a pretty comfortable car to drive. I don't know about having fucking aftermarket uh, TV screens and shit and a quick disconnect on a Honda Odyssey, but, you know, you do you. The, the, the captain seats do look comfortable, though. I do like the captain seats. Like, this is a nice road trip car. It probably rides like dog shit because he went ahead and slammed it. But it's probably a good road trip car besides that. Is he... Is Oh, it's got to be a girl. She's got nails, right? Is it a girl? I mean, I don't know. Let's just check really quick. 
I don't even know how to pronounce that. That sounds like a, a slur if you ask me. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It had a an okay vision, but it just went way overboard. If it would have just been wheel the the the, Delan, the Delentes, hey yo, the Delente tires with the TSWs, that is that is uh, uh I'm not even gonna say it. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Not not racist or anything. I was just gonna say something um <laughs> kinda rude, but whatever. Uh let's just say it's a budget budget wheel and tire setup let's just say that anyways 2001 honda odyssey works great uh daily commute sliding doors coilovers great engine work is done by mastermind creations absolute auto care what do you mean engine work it looks bone stock it looks clean but it looks bone stock do you mean, are they a auto detailing place um wheels 19 inch new tires and rotors uh, original paint is silver now on teal green so is it painted or is it wrapped? No trading. Willing to negotiate price. No lowball offer. Title hand smog. No check engine. No check engine <laughs> light. Only SRS light because of quick release steering wheel. Why would you put a quick release in a fucking family car, man? I don't know why you would do that. That just seems stupid. Whatever. Like it ain't that bad, but at the same time, it is. Made in China wheels. Made in China wheels and. Made in Mexico tires. So, all right, moving on. The Delentes, fool. Um, S two thousand with seven hundred horsepower. Facebook Marketplace Gold. Are my Amazon packages here yet? I ordered some shit for my motorcycle. We've already seen this one. This one was in a recent Ricer Cars episode. So, if you wanted me to flame it, go see that episode. A uh, third riced out car must be on a roll. I feel like we've... No, we haven't seen this one. 2003 Hyundai Tiburon CA $4,000. That's that's pretty cheap. I'm not even going to lie. That's, that's, that's pretty cheap. How many viewers are in here right now? Oh, 350? I don't know. Spam like. I don't know. Do people do that? I don't know how people live stream. Do they, do they tell their viewers what to do? Spam like or you're dead to me. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll just, you know, spam that shit. I don't know. 2003 Hyundai Tiburon. <laughs> $4,000. Canadian. I don't know what GTP stands for. Got that pussy. Maybe that's what it means. He's got that pussy. Uh, sick Tiburon. Uh, sick aftermarket headlights and taillights. The, the headlights do look awfully similar to Supra's. Hyundai was straight up just stealing their shit. It's on Steelies, and he painted them white to let everyone know that hey, these are, in fact, Steelies. I don't know why you'd paint them white. Oh, I didn't mean spam like in the chat, but I, I guess that works, too. Keep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Hey, let's do, like, those uh, TikTok NPC things. Wow, thanks for the like. Maybe I'll use that for my car. Wow, thanks for the like. <laughs> do, like, the NPC Miles Morales. <laughs> Uh, hey, respect the grind, you know? Hey, look, red spray-painted interior. This is like the 10th car this this live stream that has spray-painted interior parts. <sighs> Underneath the hood, we have a short Ram intake. It's definitely not a cold air intake because where is it getting cold air from? Nowhere, that's where. Uh, he has also hood vents. Not hood vents. Hood, uh, hood uh, latches for his factory hood. Are they even real, though? I didn't even... S yeah, they are. Okay, he has a little holes drilled. He must. Uh, Someone sent a dollar. Flam Flamingo? Flamingo? G? Thanks for the dollar. Can I can I thumbs up that? Oh, it doesn't let me. All right, you guys don't need to spam like no more, okay? You guys, you guys, you guys are chilling. You guys are chilling. Okay, it's got some sort of shit that we don't have to deal with here, I think, because... I don't know. Damn, look at that red spray... <laughs> Oh my god, that bodywork is fucked. So it's a rusted out car, 100%. 100% rusted out. Those hood pins also, that's not how hood pins work, br uh, brother. You don't want them to be sticking out that much because then your hood will open up until the pin. That's You want it pretty flush. Quick disconnect front bumper. Um, a little <laughs> little vents on the side. Oh, yeah, cool. It's got it's got issues as well. Yeah, well... Um, so let's just let's just not look at this car anymore. This car is just depressing. Lots of work done. See photos. Complete list. Don't. I don't. I don't really want to see photos. That thing is a piece of shit. Marketplace Ricer. Here we go. It better be good. And it's gone. Oh, a real carbon fiber helmet. 
Carbon fiber motorcycle helmets are so noisy. I like I've been looking at other helmets to buy because I kinda want like a more aggressive helmet, but ugh, they're so expensive. A sick edit. Oh, this is a sick edit. Oh, I'm gonna get copyrighted. Sick edit, dude. This guy's swinging the fusion. Oh my god, look at that. This dude is swinging that oh he's got he's got milk <laughs> milk carton jugs or whatever, milk crates underneath it. Dude, he's swinging that shit. Imagine going into a pit and needing to fucking put milk things underneath there or pallets. What, what are, are those pallets? Hey, at least he's getting fucking sideways. Look at that, dude. He's doing 360s, 540s. Oh, he's about to hit a 720. Holy shit. Sick ass edit, bro. Sick ass edit. Dude, this guy gets all the bitches. Did he do that with a car full of people too? I guess having that extra weight would, uh, would go around. Driven a million miles. That's to the moon and back, and then some. That's a lot. I think the moon is 200 and about 240, 240,000 miles. How far is the moon? Let's see if, if my astronomy is good. I'm really good at astronomy. How far is the moon? Um, There we go. Yeah, I see about 240. I was going to say 239, but 238, 240. So this guy's driven to the moon and back four times in his Ford Fusion. I don't want to hear... Damn! He flew there. I don't ever want to hear that the the Fords ain't reliable. Holy shit! A million miles. I find that very hard to believe. I need to see a picture of that. I also like his like fake patina like paint job on it. That's pretty cool. Don't wipe after you. <laughs> I didn't wipe after my poop. Well, Jesus Christ, man! What the hell are you guys doing? Uh, really good at astro amount. Yeah, I'm good at astronomy. I'm mentally there. Test me. Let's go. Let's go. Test me. Dead ass. I like astronomy. I'm good at it. If there was an astronomy class, I'd be good at it. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think this is rice. I mean, this is like a, a beater, like demolition derby car almost. I don't know. I don't know if I would consider it rice, but, uh, yeah. The engine is on hopes and dreams. I mean, I guess. Ford Fusion Rally Car, uh, hardest working fusion known to man. Some have a new motor. Uh, need some work, have new motor mounts and some extra parts. Brand new snow tires, front rebuilt transmission, and still has catalytic converters. No no title, though. That's kind of cla- kind of crazy. Closest Galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. That's light work. Come on. Light work. We're actually on a collision course with them right now, but it's going to take like four billion years or something like that for it to happen. I don't know if it's four billion years. Let's see. How long till we collide with Andromeda? Five billion years. I was close. I was off by one billion. Okay. It sounds like a lot, but I was close. So, and, and who's to say Google knows best? Who's to say? Let me sit up a little bit. Ugh. All right. Drew just woke up, took a dab, yawning already. I don't I don't smoke. I'm just yawning because I'm looking at ricers and they put me to sleep. All right. That's why the the uh the space questions wake me up. Dead ass. Thoughts on V6, Drew. V6 what? I've been seeing you comment that and I was hoping you would elaborate. And you haven't yet. So V6 what? Okay, uh, 95 Honda Civic DX. Um, when are you getting married? I don't know. Uh, let's read Let's read some of these comments really quick. Some of these. Uh, waste money on toilet paper. Yeah, you don't need toilet paper, guys. I was hoping there were more astronomy questions. I like astronomy. <laughs> All right. Um. <sighs> VR6, he says. Oh, does it say VR6? Oh, it says VR6. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Uh, again, my monitor is is two feet away from me, and the text chat is very small. So there's that. You guys can't really uh, can't get mad at me because I don't know what I'm reading from halfway across the room. So I thought he said V6 this whole time, but VR6. Um, yeah, it's 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 not it's not a V6. So I guess it's better, kind of. I mean, is it? Does it? It's not really a V6, right? Anywho, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone with a VR6. So, 
No, I don't have any experience from them. I'm not going to lie to you guys and be like, I love them. And I don't know. Uh, how many stars in the Subaru logo? That's not an astronomy question, but if I had to guess, I'm going to say five. Let's see. It's either five or three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck! I was so close. I'm off by one. All right, let's look at this Honda, though. What is this piece of shit? Yeah, I do be a piece of shit. Yep. Oh, gee. Why do, <laughs> why do that? You can't even fit anything in there. Why would even do that? That's crazy. Yep, single cam. Love from Australia. What are your thoughts on the 2009 Ford Focus R uh, XR5 Turbo in orange? That's my current car. Uh, let's let's look at it. I'm gonna I'm just gonna Google that and see what pops up. And so whatever Google says is your car. Uh, we don't get these here. That is a better looking Focus than we get here. Oh, that is a nice orange. It reminds me of the Super Leggero or like the Lamborghini orange. It actually might even be the same color scheme, which is kind of the orange. Not really that I want to do on the Supra. Okay, let's 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 talk Supra really quick. Okay, first of all, I like your car. It looks cool. Honestly, this seems like a very fun car to have. Um. It looks nice. I actually really do like the color. It's probably the best looking orange I've ever seen. Uh, that being said, thank you for the uh, the donation. I actually just ordered a lot of Australian parts from Australia. So those will be coming from your homeland here pretty soon. Uh, have you guys seen this orange? Saline Mustang. Um, there's this fucking... Uh, there's, this, there's this orange one. And I, I've been looking at it. And I'm like, dude, that thing looks so nice. Not like I'm not gonna buy the saline Mustang. Mm, where is it? It's kind of like this color, kinda. But I'm like, I want, I, I want. Oh yeah, it's kind of like this color. Would that color look good on the Supra or no? I don't know. I don't know if that color would look good on the Supra. Drew, why no face cam? Because I'm chilling in my underwear, yawning and laying back in my chair. That's why. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking of like colors to do the Supra because I'm gonna be able to repaint it any color I want. So, like, what color should I do? I don't really want to do a blue. Because I already have the blue Mustang. I kind of want, like, a warmer color. Best orange from a Focus. Oh, it def definitely is the best the best uh, orange from a Focus. Um, uh, or Oriancio Borales. Is that, is that what you're saying? Is, is the Lambo color? Oh, that's so fucking nice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. See, like... Oops. Dude, the Supra, that color? That shit would be hot. I don't know, though. I need to, I need to go into, like, Forza and, like, mess around with colors and see what's up. Uh, What's the email, Drew? I have a... Uh, I have the white boy one. That's... It's drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Vintage Dio. Dilio. Thank you. Diloey. Greetings from Switzerland. Love your vids. I own a silver uh, 2003 uh, SL55 AMG and a white 2016 Camaro SS. What do you think? Camaro SS, dude. The 6th gen Camaros are like my favorite. I love those. Uh, the S55 AMG, SL55, uh, they, they're, they're kind of grandpa cars. It's funny because when I worked at Chevy, one of the salesmen actually had one of these. The compressor. And um, I think he raced the SS sedan. I think he beat it because the, the the guy went in with another salesman and bought an SS sedan and then they went and raced or whatever. And I, I think his SL55 beat it. So uh, they're cool. I mean, I like your Camaro more, but that's just because I'm a hardcore, like American muscle guy. I wouldn't say hardcore, but I, I just would prefer it over this. This is cool, but it's not, you know, something that I'd want to beat on 24 seven. So good shit though. I appreciate it. T tins. Tick, Ticino, Ticino, tuning. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. The compressor. I just said the compressor. <laughs> uh, Drew oiled up, uh, made out. <laughs> Does anybody yawn when Drew yawns? When you say yawn, now listen to this. <sighs> that was a good one. That was a good one. I already forgot we were talking about this Honda Civic. It's a piece of shit. Let's move on. Show this piece of shit. Uh, marketplace Tard. Let's look at this Marketplace Tard. 
look up Mystic Chrome Ford. I know what color that is, but I don't know if that would look good on a super. The super needs like an aggressive, an aggressive color. Like that is a, a cool color. Ooh, fuck, that does look pretty nice. Okay, it looks better on the Ford GT. I remember this. Like, to me, when I hear Mystic Chrome, I think of that or this. And that's cool, but on a Supra? The Supra doesn't have aggressive body lines like this car, you know? So it's hard to it's hard to say. MK4 Supra custom color? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what pops up. Why is my keyboard double typing? Like, this is so annoying. Why is it doing that? Purple's fine. That's whatever. But, you know, again, it it just looks kind of bland. This is a little bit too much color changing. It looks cool again, but, like, still, like, uh, I don't know. It's a little too much. Uh, a few people are telling me to do, like, the anthracite. Anthracite looks cool. I like this molded wide body. That looks cool, too. But <sighs> that doesn't look hot. That, that's, not, that's not hot. I ain't going to cut it. I always just like yellow. I, I do like the red that I had on it. Red was cool. It's a hard one. Like, that's not bad. I don't know if my paint guy can do that, though. I'm sure he can. But do I want, like, a permanently color-changing car? Do I want that? I don't know if I'd want that. You know? I want something that, like, I can leave. I don't want something this boring, either. Fucking tan. That's lame. At least his doesn't burn down. I know, I know, I know. But I don't want that. I want something like this. No, I'm joking. I want something like, you know, that I don't need a wrap. It's just one and done. It's all right. It's whatever. What are you guys thinking? Um. Oh, I'm getting more donations. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see these. Uh, what's your opinion on a white 2006 Avalanche? All right, guys. I appreciate you guys donating, but this isn't a rice or nice. Also, can you just do us a favor and oil up at <laughs> at uh, seven hundred thousand? We are very close to seven hundred thousand. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, growing up, I always liked the avalanches, and then once I realized that it was just like a Tahoe turned into a truck, I was like, oh, okay. Like I guess, like it's not that cool anymore. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird hybrid a hybrid car, um, and yeah, they look a little bit more dated now. I'm not trying to insult you, but you know, it's, it's not the uh, it's not the best looking truck out there. It's like a cat eye. It's like a cat eye. SUV, in my opinion. I guess if you, like, oil it up like that, it looks better. But still, it's, um, I don't know. It looks like an Aztec. I don't like the giant plastic all over it. It's cool, though, man. As long as it, you know, I guess uh, keep, it saves you money and you can keep donating. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyways. Yeah, color-wise, though. Like, wh I don't know. What, what are you guys thinking? British Racing Green. Er, dude, that's, like, TJ Hunt's favorite color. That's, like, the color he chooses for every goddamn car. I'm so tired of seeing British Racing Green. <laughs> like, it's a cool color, but it's it's too dark. Like, on a Supra, British Racing Green? Uh, we need something a little bit more Japanese than that. Volcano Orange from the McLaren. I never, I was never a fan of that color. I do like that color. Brown Supra, no. Uh, Drew Nip Cam, maybe. Maybe at 700,000. Uh, what's PFS Blue? Again, I'm not, I'm not leaning towards blues, but let's just see. That's not bad. I'm guessing you're talking about this. So that's definitely not bad. Uh, this is a, kind of the color I wanted to wrap the Mustang before I got the bumper repainted. So I don't think I will. But metallic blue, blue, baby blue, candy orange. Let's see candy orange. Yeah, like I want that bitch to stand fucking out. I want that bitch when I pull into a car meet to be like, oh my god, that shit is sick. And I, I'm kind of leaning towards like an orange. Like, cause you know, the car's name now is Project Phoenix. It's rising from the ashes. It was burnt down. So, I mean, like, what colors Phoenix? What colors are Phoenix? They're like a orangish red. See, we got we got to stick with this. We can't be named Project Phoenix and have the car looking blue. We can't be doing that. Okay, what's a car misconception you believed for the longest time? When I first got into cars, I believed that all V6s and all V8s made the same amount as power. I didn't know that um, different V8s and different V6s made more power. And I didn't think that a four-cylinder could ever beat a V8 or a V6, no matter what. That's how I was. When I first got my V6 Mustang, I saw newer V6 Mustangs and was like, I could take that guy. Oh, I got that guy. I got that guy's number. But uh, nope, that is not the case. 
So yeah, that was a misconception I believed for the longest time, and I remember I was an idiot. <laughs> so, yep. Uh, shows a blue phoenix. That's a, that's a fucking pigeon, bro. That ain't no blue phoenix. That's a goddamn pigeon. We ain't doing no damn pigeons. Uh, go for a Ford color, dark Highland green and brown. Okay, come on, we're not doing no damn green. <laughs> Oiled up <laughs> peacock cam, chrome gold. We ain't doing that. That's a pigeon. We ain't looking at that. Uh, white with orange flake. Let's, how would that look? I do like white. White with orange flake. Nah. I don't want flake like that. I don't want it to look like it was just seasoned on on a grill. I don't like that. Sorry. Like, it's cool for, like, guitars, but, yeah, that's that looks... Mm, not not for me. Okay, no more spamming uwu. You know, you're going to jail. Put in timeout. I'm putting you in timeout for five minutes. Learn your lesson. No more spamming. Woodland green. We're, we're looking at warm colors here, fellas. I don't know if you guys are deaf, but we're looking at warm colors here. You guys see... Oh, I'll, I'll, just to show you guys one more time. We want it to look like a goddamn phoenix, okay? We want it to look like a firebird. We don't want it to look frozen orange. Okay, here we go. Finally, someone with a with a good with a good recommendation. Frozen orange. Let's see. Okay, uh, paint. <laughs> I, I didn't mean literally. <laughs> okay, it's a little too muted for my taste, but I don't know how it would look gloss. Cause yeah, I guess frozen does mean matte. I don't really want a matte Supra. It looks great on BMWs. Once again, they have the aggressive body lines, though. It's hard with the Supra. It's a round, Kirby-ass looking car. Paint code is AU297 uh, uh, on my E46. Perfect blue. Okay. Just because you donated, I'll look at this blue. Uh, BMW paint. I appreciate the donation. Antonio Ramirez. Did I not type it in right? Okay, I don't know if it typed it in right. Um, AU2917. What is this? Um, Color. Okay, what the hell is this thing doing, man? I'm not trying to... Paint code. Okay, it's not popping up. I'm trying to look. Oh, is it this? I don't think it's that. That is a nice color, though. I don't think it's that. AU2917. Uh, Antonio. I d what, what, what's it called? Because it ain't popping up. Well, I, I'm, I'll, I'll double back to this. Um, um, Can I look up a little bit more? Did I pin Candy Orange? I oh, didn't mean to do that. E34. Did I really say E46? Um, let me see. E34. BMW Paint. Here we go. Oh, I love black and white photos. That's great. <laughs> Why would they even show it? Why would they even show it in fucking black and white? Is it this? Okay, that's a nice color. That is a nice color. I do like that color. But once again, Phoenix is red. Um, does Porsche have any oranges? Fire orange. Let's see. Uh, does Porsche have oranges? Because Porsches are round. So, any color that looks good on a Porsche. Damn! Any color that looks good on a Porsche is probably going to look good on a Supra. That's a pretty fucking sick orange. That's pretty fucking hot. I'm about to start stroking it to that shit. What do you guys think about that orange? How much horsepower does the EcoBoost Mustang need for it to be respectable? Um, or does the respect go out the window once you realize it's EcoBoost? No, I mean, you could respect EcoBoosts. Who the hell's calling me scam likely? I ain't going to answer that shit. It, it varies from person to person, you know? Like, me personally, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, it doesn't bother me if your car is an EcoBoost. I obviously have to, like, put on a character for the channel. But, like, genuinely, I don't really care. Like, I if I drive past a rice style car, I'm like, oh, look at that ugly car. And I keep driving. I'm not really mad about it. Um, as for, as for, uh, respectable, if I had to put a number on it, I mean, dude, if you're making V8 power, you know, with, with an EcoBoost, I mean, that's respectable, you know, that's a respectable amount of power. You're going to beat a lot of cars. So 
Yeah, I don't know. Someone said very good stroke cam. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Aventador Orange. Let's look at that. Porsche Orange is pretty good. Let's look at Aventador Orange. Aventador Orange. Yes, let's look at this really quick. It's good. I don't think it's as good, though. Like, it's a little bit more tangerine, you know? That What color is the Fast and... That's more like the Fast and the Furious one, no? Fast and Furious Supra. Let's just see. Yeah, that's more like the Fast and the Furious one, where the... The, the Porsche, that's like... That's fucking orange, you know? That's really orange. Look up burnt orange. Okay. Is it a Porsche color? I guess it's Porsche color. That looks like fucking shit. <laughs> that I don't like that. That looks like fucking shit. That is a very old school '80s color. If I had a Mark III Supra, maybe, but not a Mark IV. That is, I don't know if that's burnt orange, but this first one looks like fucking dog shit. I'm just gonna say that. Seven twenty GTR Lark Pink. I. I know that's a good color, but that's on a 720 GTR, not on a f fucking Supra. Uh, Dakar yellow is so 90s. Okay, let's look at that. I'm hoping the yellow is... The yellow would be a kind of Phoenix color. Uh, how do you spell that? Dakar yellow. Eh, uh, it's a little bit too soft, a little bit too... Uh, Flamboyant. It's, it's, again, great on BMWs. I don't think it would look good on a Supra, though. That's taxi color right there. Uh, orange. Uh, let's see. Let me just type in orange sports cars. I know we got off topic here, fellas. I know we were... Okay, okay. I know we were looking at some other shit. That's not bad. I believe this is... I don't know if that's the, the orange that the guy said earlier, but I remember on the 12 season, it didn't quite look like that. It actually doesn't look bad on the P1, though. That's not a bad orange, either. I like that that light pearl in it. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. See, that this is... I mean, even that doesn't look bad. I don't know. Maybe I was thinking of a different a different orange. This is the orange I was thinking of. This is the orange I was thinking of that I didn't like on the McLarens. It's that one. That one, the, the fucking burnt orange looking one. I don't like that one. She looks like ass. But like something like that, that's hot. Ooh, that's real hot. I like that. Did somebody say George Floyd orange? That's crazy. <laughs> McLaren P1 dark orange. Yeah, that P1 is volcano orange. Okay, what is this? If, what, what, is this, this is dark background orange. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but they shit ugly. Look up fire orange. You'd probably really like it. Yeah, the P1 looks pretty hot. Like, I like that depth. That paint looks like it has depth. It looks like I can reach into that shit and grab out some fire. I like that. I don't like that. You know, that don't look good. That looks good. That's got some depth to it. I like that. But I, I don't think I'd want to go that light. I don't know, though. I mean, I guess we just got to see. Let me. What did someone say? I've been fire orange. Fire orange. I'll type that fast. I'm also laying down. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually really good. I like that. We'll have to see. I'm going to play around with a couple different oranges and see. And maybe I can make some edits in like Forza or something like that. But, uh. Yeah, neon SRT4 orange. Okay, neon SRT4 orange. If this shit's ugly, bro, I'm gonna flame you up. That looks like, I mean, it's not bad. It, it's it's like a cheaper version of the Lambo orange. It has less depth, but it does have a nice little pearl in it. It looks like, but it kind of looks more like that, like copper, like burnt orange that we were looking at. Laying down cam. Uh, teal mist metallic. I mean, that's completely not the way I want to go, but sure, we'll look up teal mist metallic. Yeah, that looks like fucking shit. That looks fucking horrible. It looks okay on SCs, but ain't nobody waking up and saying, I'm going to paint my car teal mist metallic. Would you recommend the Whipple for an S550 or something else? Honestly, turbos 
come to mind. S550 is a different platform. You have IRS and a weaker transmission. So I would still probably recommend turbos or just a centrifugal. You need less torque for your transmission, mister. So a Whipple would just blow that shit up. So like an ESS for you would probably be the move. Then that'll be that'll be five dollars. Oh, thanks, you paid in advance. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've seen Whipple Mustangs, like ten speeds, go crazy, like destroy me, spread my cheeks, and clap me into next week. Uh, so it it really varies. But you uh, you have more of a uh, an advantage than me. Weirdly, I, I would think that a fucking solid rear axle with the, the axle with zero camber and all tire touching the ground would hook great, but apparently not. Nardo Gray, no. Nardo Gay, we ain't doing that. Um, Look up Supras. We already did that. Supras. There you go. See, that's kind of like that metallic orange that we were looking at. It's not bad, but looking at it now, it don't look that good either. I think, honestly, that Porsche orange would look better because I don't like this, like, yellow fade pearl shit. I don't really like that. Chrome. We ain't doing chrome. Like, see, like, that's, nah. It's so hard to tell. You could do the, whatever, uh, smoky Nagata orange or gold. I really did like my yellow before. My yellow was sick. That ain't it, but that's that's pretty similar. Yellow looks good. Like, I don't know why people don't like yellow. I think yellow really does these cars wonders. Like, it looks fucking sick. When I, when, when I had my car wrapped yellow, I genuinely was like, dude, this looks like the fucking legendary elites from Halo CE. Like, that's how I saw the car. And I was like, that's kind of like the what I wanted it to look like, too. It's like, oh, shit, look, it's a rare Supra. It's a legendary elite from Halo CE. That's the way I saw it, so it is what it is. Anyways, I'm going to be ending the stream here pretty soon. Um, I have some work to do. It is now cooler off outside, so I can go work on the Mustang a little bit. Um, it looks like piss. If your piss is that gold and yellow, you have issues. You know, this looks more like piss to me. Like, that's like my piss color. Like a champagne. That's kind of piss. This is definitely piss color. But... The yellow? The banana? No, nah, I don't think so. I'm not going to do yellow. I'm just saying, I genuinely liked it. And a lot of people did too. I thought it was hot. Um, Let's see what else there is. Yeah, see, blues look cool, but I always see blue Supras. I want that bitch to... Like, look at that, dude. You see how much that stands out? That looks fire. That looks great. I like that. And when the car is done, it needs to stand out like that. It needs to, it needs to pop. That's a good color. See, that's fucking wet. That's great. Blood orange metallic paint. Let's look that up. Blood orange. Sorry, I'm moving my thing closer. Uh, metallic. Let's see. Not matte. Um, metallic paint. The hell's blood orange? That looks good. I like that. Well, it kind of looks like a traffic cone, though. See, that looks good. Oh, that's such a good color. That's a great color. I like that a lot. All right. Anyways, <laughs> someone said Gaza green. <laughs> Is that really a color? There's no way that's a color. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's not a. That's not a color. I. I genuinely thought it might be a color for a second. Yeah. You guys are crazy. Anyways, um, S13 sea foam. I've never liked sea foam. S13 Seafoam. Eh. Uh, it works with that car, but it also has the gray to, to contrast it, you know? The Super don't have that. So a full car in the Seafoam would look kind of funky. That's a video game. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like a full car in Seafoam would look funky. It's cool color. But it has the gray to contrast it. Super don't got that. Super don't have that. Metallic British Racing Green. No! Grow up. All right. Anyways, I think that'll do it. Unless I see um, any other ones that look Zaza green. No, we ain't doing no Zaza green. Lamau yellow. I don't think that's a really a real thing. I know it doesn't say Lamau, but... 
Uh, uh, let's see. The Driven to Cure GTR Orange. Don't know what that is. Um, Armpit Black. I ain't going to do it. God, you guys are typing so much. Rainbow. Maybe Rainbow. Rainbow might be doing it. Black Cherry. Black Cherry doesn't look that bad, I think. Where's Black Cherry? Black Cherry Paint. Why does it double click letters, dude? You see what I'm saying? It. Oh, why did I? Well, that was my bad, actually. Black Cherry Paint. Here we go. That don't look that bad, but I don't really want a dark col color. Like, that. that's gangster, but a black cherry. I'll, I'll type in Supra. Let's see. Ooh, that do look kind of mean. That do look kind of mean. I just don't like dark colors because, like, they show a lot of imperfections and uh, they're hard to keep clean. I'm not a huge fan of it. Ugh. Midnight Blue. We're not looking at Pearl SC300 again. Tang Orange Pearl. That sounds like a color I might like. That's like, that's literally my old color right there. That looks like it. Tang orange pearl. I don't. I don't type that much. That's pretty sweet. That's a pretty fucking sweet color. I don't know. I I really like this. This is really nice. I mean, it kind of looks similar to all the other oranges, but I'm leaning towards orange. I mean, does orange make sense, guys, for a car that's named Project Phoenix? You guys, let me know down below. Like, let me know right now before I end this thing. Okay, this looks like a fucking joke, but we'll type it in. Shakir Orange. That's There's no way that's really a color. But we'll type it in. Oh, it is a color. I don't like it. <laughs> well, yeah, but would would would, uh, would like a Project Phoenix... German takeovers on YouTube. I Blah, 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 in your opinion. I've never heard of that. Tincino Tuning. Sorry. Yeah, I've never heard of that. I could look into it, though. Shakir Orange, Boost Blue or Sonic Gray Pearl? Uh, boost Blue. I do, okay, that's an okay color. I wouldn't do it with that color, but that's I like that color. Aston Martin Orange. Okay, you guys are just typing like crazy. Nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Anal Bead Orange. That'd be like more like Anal Bead Red. 350Z orange, no. What's Sonic Gray Pearl? Sonic. I don't want to do a gray, but I'll just look at this color for shits and giggles. Sonic Gray Pearl Honda Accord. Uh, it's a good color, but I ain't doing no damn Honda color on a Supra. I like that color. I genuinely do, but I ain't doing it. That, that ain't no Honda color. Uh, Brake Dust Orange. I already saw anal bead orange, stinky brown, phoenix yellow from BMW. It does have the word phoenix in it. I didn't spell it right, but whatever, it'll know. BMW. Ew, that's way worse. I, the, I fucking can't believe I'm saying it. Honda phoenix yellow looks way better. That looks way worse. That's disgusting. That looks way better. Shit stained brown. Um, Dodge Orange, no. <laughs> Electric Blue, Candy Apple Red. I mean, Candy Apple Red ain't bad. Candy Apple Red Paint. Like that's cool, but like that's that's a deep looking color. I don't know. We'll have to see. We got a we got a ways to go, man. We're we're out here picking up picking out paint for a car that still has a fucking motor in it. We got to pull that motor and do all that shit first. Anyways. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream. I'll be doing these more. Um, subscribe. Go watch today's video. Hopefully it's not demonetized anymore. It probably is. Let's see if it's still demonetized, actually. I, I could probably pull it up on here, right? It doesn't show any, like, bad info. Um, no, we're good. Go watch that shit. Yeah. Everyone's in the live right now. Nobody's watching it. Go go watch it and comment down below from the live stream. And I will go thumbs up all your guys' comments. Because, yeah, we looked at some... What, 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 did we, what did we even do in that video? Oh, people trying to, like, show off. Yeah, go look at that shit. Anyways subscribe and until next video peace i better see 294 comments on that video that say from the live stream or else you guys are all fake you guys are all fake anyways deuces i'm gonna go uh work on the mustang get some more content out for you guys we'll do this again good night